Okay, Giovanni asks, how long do you ask your middle blockers to have their eyes on the ball versus the eyes of the attacker? And so, Giovanni, we're going to talk about that right now with some ball setter, ball hitter. Um, and uh, Keegan, we're watching your team. This is uh, reverse angle versus Texas. Okay. And so um, let's just pause this at four different times and we can go ball setter, ball hitter. So right off the pass... We're looking at ball, right? And what are we looking at right now? Uh, is it over is the is the most basic thing, you know, and um, is it over? And and maybe is it way out of system? Those two things to me are, are just like the base, the basic, you know. Okay. And in this case, maybe not way out of system, but out of system enough that um, when you look back at your setter now, so now we're ball, now we're setter. And what are we looking yep. at when we're looking at the setter for the first yeah, time? Yeah, just looking at some really important cues. You know, is she on the run? Uh, is the ball kind of in a position where she can set everything? Is she committed to setting one thing in general? You know, how far away from her body is it? How top of her head is it? Those things all give you insight uh, into what is more likely to happen. Yeah, and maybe Keegan, maybe at our level, what side of the court is the ball on? A lot of setters love to go short to short versus long distance. It looks like your middle knows that <laughs> short distance. And maybe you got Logan Eggleston over there that you might want to be a little more attentive to. But uh, yeah, there's lots yeah. of things that can that can fire off some of that before anything ever happens. Yeah, you okay. can go back a little oh. bit if you want, Dave. Go back a few steps. You know, I think the first question with ball here was: is is the Texas middle available? Our right front was certainly in a read. The answer is no, just by function of the pass. So now you're going to see yes. her drop her arms. Then there's a, some tactics for, all right, well, on medium passes, we're really not feeling great about number five relative to the opposite. So now we're going to dedicate. And um, so anyways, just some, some eye work things that trigger some tactics here. So the hands drop on your right front blocker right when she knows she won't need to help on a gap yep. or a quick. Yep. Yep. And then to Giovanni's question now, how long are we looking at the ball right now? And then when do we go to the hitter? Yeah, many a chairs have been thrown in this office on this debate. Just, uh, you know, um, what I would say and what, what I've decided for my own personal philosophy is uh, the faster the set, the, the less time you have to see it and you need to see the hitter uh, sooner. So a good analogy would be if I'm defending a zero step quick, uh, seeing the set isn't going to help me very much. I need to see the hitter and pick up those cues really early because the set's not going to be in the air for a very long time. If we go the reverse of that and we're dealing with an out of system set where the location's pretty important, I have lots of time to see the set. And, and so for me, there's kind of an inverse relationship there. You know, the faster the set, I need to get onto the hitter because uh, a little sooner and uh, the slower the set, I have more time to see the set. So that that's my own personal philosophy there. And I, I don't vary too too far off of that. Um, yeah, and it's it, the faster the set, usually a lot more shot committed the hitter gets. So at our level, we have that info. Um, at the basic level, you know, look up your GMS charts to see where a lot of balls go. You'll find there a lot of them go in the middle of the court. So <laughs> really important your positioning relative to the hitter on a faster set and then out of system. It's just really, yeah, dependent on where that set falls, how good are they at uh, – turning line let's say if they're a pin hitter or if they're middles if how good are they hitting out of body uh, looks like our middle knows here that that uh you know she does a really nice job of taking away her power here so uh, we know that in this scenario it looks like the setter's coming from a slightly off the net it's really hard to take that ball over your shoulder and turn it back cross body with power and so our middle's doing a nice job of taking away this other middle's power and uh really nice move here by kennedy collins number one here and so uh, is your middle watching the the shoulder of the Kentucky attacker? It looks like to know she's trying that zone five shot. I would say, and in, in these situations, we would have done our homework and know um, what fourteen here in Kentucky's favorite shot is. And also, like I just mentioned, uh, where is this ball coming from? From the setter that's going to make you know? Are we take away the power? I'm going to take away the the thing that's hardest hit and most likely to happen. Um, and if she wants to try to slap one back, we've got two defenders over there that maybe can can take a slower ball as opposed to a power hit. 